Never fear, my friends. JD is now in the secret lab. You're late. Our water slide still isn't ready. And our big meeting with the water park is tomorrow morning. What's your excuse, JD? I overslept. Just woke up five minutes ago. How is that a good excuse? Science has shown that sleep helps humans form memories and flush out chemical byproducts in your brain cells. Besides, I work best under pressure anyway. We promised the water park the best prototype ever. It's the biggest, but still not the fastest. Any ideas, Mr. Works Best Under Pressure? You have two seconds. Uh, how about we break for lunch? Oh yeah, burger time! No way, you gotta stay and work. No worries, I filled my bag with spare burgers yesterday. Work some magic while we're gone, buddy. Be the hero. Fun Bolt, where is everybody? Still putting their lunches in their faces. The water slide, I solved it. Come feast your robot eyes. Incredible, isn't it? It looks exactly the same as before. But I coated it with a layer of Teflon, the world's slipperiest material. Watch me as I test the world's fastest water slide. Ah, I can't watch. One small slide for man, one giant thing. Where to? As far away as you can send me. I, I'm, uh, doing an experiment. In what exactly? Survival! That's them. Hurry! But I cannot decide where to send. Anywhere! Where did Von Bolt send me? What is this place? Is anyone here at all? Uh, uh, uh. Wait, stop! Huh, I might be lost, but at least this place has some good looking people in it. must be the Stone Age. Hey, you three look just like some friends of mine, except in smellier outfits. Uh, ah! 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 Wait, I meant smelly in a good way. Like my favorite socks. Do you all live a rotten, miserable caveman life, but you probably can't even catch an animal? How do you survive? That is sad. We gotta fix this now. Who wants burgers? They're a little cold, though, but I've got just the thing. The lens focuses the sun's rays till they're intense enough to ignite and... <laughs> Come on, guys! Come back! Why would JD do this? And how? This is a lot of destruction for one lunch hour. I'm weirdly impressed. Von Bold, how could you let him escape through the VR window like that? I am as confused as you are. He said it was an experiment in survival. Oh! oh. Hunt JD down like an 
animal. <laughs> Normally I'd agree, but there's no time. We have to get right back to work. But how will we ever get it done in time? JD, there you are. <laughs> Wow, I've never seen JD like this. He must feel really guilty. Good. <laughs> <sighs> Leaving us to fix everything ourselves. Classic JD. How are the burgers, guys? Are they yum, tum, nummy? <laughs> know what I love about you guys? No overthinking. In fact, you barely think at all. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love you guys too. Sorry, dudes, no more burgers. How about I offer you a yummy microscope? If they're as bad at catching food as they are at catching me, these guys aren't going to be around for long. Unless I give them a few pointers. JD. Just come down and help us rebuild the slide. That you destroyed. <gasps> JD! Hey, wait a minute! That's, That's not, not JD! JD. Great, Cave Bud Angie! You'll learn to hunt in no time. Next. Yeah! Nailed it, guys! No, no! When you lasso your dinner, don't ever let go of the rope! Don't ever let go! JD, are you trying to ruin caveman times, too? Hi. Hey, how'd you guys find me? Nice trash and dash job on the slide. I was coming back to help, but um, I'm teaching them how to hunt. <laughs> Let go! Let go! Yeah! They don't understand me. Gotta go! No, JD, we'll handle this. We're getting used to cleaning up your messes. Oh, okay. Wait! supposed to stop a huge rampaging mastodon. JD, if you really do think best under pressure, now would be an excellent time. I used to think so, but then with a the water slide, I... Wait! Counterweights! Counter who what? Where's the portable alva? Right here. Hello. It's Dr. Steven Timoshenko, the father of modern engineering mechanics. You want autograph, yes? Uh, no, not really. Dr. Timoshenko, look! I see problem. And counterbalance could be solution. Counterweight! Close, but yet. It is common mistake. Allow me to tell you all about it. <laughs> A counterweight is an equivalent weight that balances a load. And the counterbalance is a weight that creates an equivalence of force when two objects are working in opposition to each other. Like when you are playing tug of war. <laughs> the problem with your three new friends is that their combined weight is not enough to act as counterbalance to the rampaging mastodon. Their team needs a heavier guy. Two tons should do it. Bye. Two tons, huh? Ready? Now! Ugh. Yeah! Nailed it, Angie! It's not enough weight. JD, where are you? More counterbalance it is.
admit, J.D., sometimes when you work under pressure... It does turn out okay. But our water slide presentation is hopeless. Jets, under pressure, wait. Boom, I got it! J.D. does it again! So our model is still in the very early stages of development. As in how early? Well, we haven't started it, but we plan to use specially designed water jets firing pressurized water at each turn to accelerate the slider up to incredible speeds. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. oh, yes. Very impressive. Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the jets would work like this. Oops. And now for the speed demonstration. Supposing things are posing. Use their talents to stay balanced. It's equal when the sequel is catchy, matchy, matchy. Talk of war, less and more. What is all the fighting for? Talk of war, less and more. Who will settle up the score? There's forces. Two big horses that pay up to a way up. Every problem has an answer. Every ballet has a dancer. Tug of war, less and more. What is all the fighting for? Tug of war, less and more. Who will settle up? Videos, subscribe to Cartoon Channel.